Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 31st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Worn Out or Broken In, and our scriptures Acts chapter 26, where the Apostle Paul writes about his trial. I preached first to those in Damascus, then in Jerusalem, and throughout all Judea, and also to the Gentiles, that all must repent of their sins and turn to God, and prove that they have changed by the good things they do. Some Jews arrested me in the temple for preaching this, and they tried to kill me. But God has protected me right up to this present time, so I can testify to everyone from the least to the greatest. I teach nothing except what the prophets and Moses said would happen, that the Messiah would suffer and be the first to rise from the dead, and in this way announce God's light to Jews and Gentiles alike. Paul was on trial, and this defense of his actions was pled before King Agrippa. As usual, Paul was not as concerned for his life, welfare, or reputation nearly as much as concerned that the message God had given him continues spreading. The apostle was proclaiming to the king's court the gospel of Jesus Christ, that all persons are sinful and must repent. There must be a clean sweep, turning their backs on all forms of evil in order to be forgiven by God. Without it, There can be no peace in this world, nor escape from the tribulation of the next. The idea of a quote-unquote clean sweep is not a new concept. How that is achieved is the crux of every generation's struggle for identity. In ancient Jerusalem, it meant national repentance, the whole nation bowing in lockstep. In 2022, that idea runs countercultural to the rugged individualism of figures such as John Wayne. In modern times, we bow only to personal choice. The woke culture hears no voice save its own. All that is valued is change. What used to be valued is now obsolete, worthless. Virtually everything is turned on its ear. Whatever was is now to be changed into the new, conform to this non-conformance with the past or be left in the dust. A proverb found in many cultures is, a new broom sweeps clean, but an old broom knows the corners. The wisdom of this proverb is the balance between the energy of newly minted movements, or new brooms, and the experience of the old brooms that have already traveled down the road of practice. While the struggle between the last generation's ways and the new generation's ideas is legendary and ongoing, the wisdom of that ancient proverb is a guide that is venerable. Energy and experience are both valued because experience is where wisdom can put energy to its best use. Energy, the new broom of change, will also inform the old, worn-out eyes of experience with fresh perspective and envisioning the pain of not changing. Change is inevitable, but people never change intentionally until the pain of the consequences of not changing exceeds the fear of changing. The biblical record, as Paul laid out to Agrippa, tells us the only change that takes you through the narrow gate to your Creator's strong love is repentance of sin. That is where we find the open arms of acceptance and joy. For you today, we don't want to be too conflicted by which way to turn. When you're sitting on the railroad track and you hear the train whistle blowing, it's not the time to do a survey or study on whether to move to the left or right. If you don't move, you're going to get flattened. The only thing that matters when you're faced with changing times, energy, or demand for wisdom is what and whom you've decided to trust. Like Joshua told Israel when they were getting ready to cross the river into the promised land, choose this day whom you will serve. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road with Jesus. Have a blessed day.